financial problems and they've been uh, bankrupt for about a good 10 years now and I'll have the video link in the description box below my video from the company man YouTube channel and he goes over what happened to Kmart's why they went bankrupt but this is the building here was the world headquarters for the Kmart uh, retailer and as a matter of fact right here is where they filmed a scene in the movie Bowling for Columbine. Uh, it was a documentary by Michael Moore. And uh, the, the head people of Kmart came out and met with Michael Moore about banning ammunition sales in the stores. But it was filmed right here. And I'll take you around the building. This is, uh, it's, it's been closed out for quite a few years now and it's in really bad shape. But I'll show you around the building here. This is the former Kmart World Headquarters building in Troy, Michigan, just outside Detroit. Main lobby area here at the former Kmart World Headquarters building. As you can see, some of the windows have been smashed. Uh, whether it, I'm not sure if that was weather that caused this or just uh, vandalism. Looks like some vandalism, but that's a. Uh, this is the uh, main lobby area to Kmart World Headquarters, the former World Headquarters, and uh, just busted out window. Let me go around slowly here, I'll show you. And this building's been vacant for quite a long while now. This is part of the uh, perimeter of the former Kmart World Headquarters building. Looks nice with the trees, a nice autumn day outside. One of the uh, side entrances or exits to the former Kmart World Headquarters building um, in pretty bad shape I could see all the brick is you know kind of coming apart it's been several years I'll come up take a closer look at it I can't enter the building but uh, yeah former Kmart World Headquarters building yeah all this brick let me try to get in here it's all chipped up this is just years of not being taken care of and I don't think anybody's wanted to purchase this building just bad shape yeah here's one of the light fixtures laying on the floor here by the main lobby electrical area it kind of gets my reflection a little bit it's tough to see they have the, the, the glass tinted but this is one of the side entrances to the uh, former Kmart World headquarters building you can hear me walking on all this chipped brick here this is uh, another side of the Kmart uh, former World Headquarters building here. One of the emergency exit doors here. You can see it's got the same glass and uh, is it the brick comes up. Just another look at it. Another side of the building. Okay, this is uh, around, another side of the Kmart uh, former World Headquarters building. Another emergency exit door. You can see all the tree limbs have uh, starting to fall over. Let me see if I can come out a little bit on the video. Hold on here. Okay, I'm out. Okay, this is a, another emergency exit door to the uh, former Kmart World Headquarters building. Uh, they have it all kind of uh, bolted in, sort of, and uh, blocked off, and as you can see. Kind of interesting here. Uh, this is one of the windows on the side of the building of the former Kmart World Headquarters building. As you can see, it's busted out and they just put some uh, plywood in there. This it definitely appears to be vandalism. Uh, kind of sad people do that, you know. A lot of times you get old buildings or houses that are, you know, uh, closed down, vacant, basically vacant, and people come in and vandalize it. Uh, but I don't know who owns this. It's definitely not taken care of. You can see the no attempt really has been made much to repair that window or put something in there other than that plywood. And you know, you get a good rainstorm, whatever comes in there, that all comes inside the building. 
This is another uh, entrance exit area to the former Kmart World Headquarters. It's uh, as you can see, it's all boarded up. There's a nice little gap there, you know, for air and crap to come in. Some rubber stripping that's come out. Let me come in a little closer, give you a better look, and hold the camera steady. Yeah, yeah. This this hasn't been maintained for years, obviously. Wow, this has been busted out or broken. It's just all like plywood and uh, just painted black to blend in with the windows here. Um, I won't go down here, but I'll take a look at this stairwell. This is probably some exit that goes down to maybe. Uh, wow, this is just really, really bad shape. Look at this. Just glass right here, plywood. Yeah, they got that boarded up like no trespassing sign probably you know people have uh, broken into this before this must must have been like a old lobby lob outside lobby area where people could go have lunch and just sit and relax you know who worked here just all overgrown with trees and boarded up now former Kmart world headquarters building yep as you can see another side of the building here just more plywood you know uh, probably just the cheapest route they're not going to replace these windows when they get vandalized or broken and you come over here there's just more of this of the same this building's just been neglected for years and years yeah it's all boarded up smashed glass I'll come over here I'm moving the camera a little bit but I'll get you another view here yeah you could see You get my reflection in the window here, but that looks like it's been hit. Here's the plywood. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Another smashed piece of glass. Just uh, all, all empty, vacant inside. This looks like door J. Door J. Must have been some kind of loading, unloading area. Or maybe it's just an exit. This goes down, down here, the stairwell. I'm not going to go way down in there. Uh, I'll see if I can get a look with my camera. Yeah, just another boarded up door right there. And so, yeah, this just must have been some kind of employee exit, entrance, emergency exit, entrance door to the side of the building, Jay. Another side of the building here. Let me see if I can zoom in here. There we go. Door P. Uh, some entrance exit door over here. And then it's got a stairwell again that goes down. Probably just a boarded up door. And it's just a shame is I go around this building. You could just see the broken glass and the plywood. This is not weather like a storm that came through. It's definitely just, you know, vandalism. Like to see him do something with this building, whether it's, you know, uh, let me, uh, I'm sorry, let me zoom out. You know, whether it's to demolish this whole damn thing and do something nice with this property or some other company come in and buy it and renovate it, that would be nice. It's kind of an eyesore here in the city of Troy, Michigan, which is just outside Detroit. Uh, like I said, this has been vacant for years and wow, as I come over here, it's just got overgrown bushes and all kinds of stuff. All boarded up from the inside here of the Kmart headquarters building. I'll come over here and then zoom in to show you this. This looks like it was once a, you know, a big uh, lobby area, hallway. And then this is probably like at one time all cemented in, you know, with uh, beautiful trees and bushes and stuff and people to go out and look. But you can see, yeah, it's, a lot of it's just been smashed out. Here's the glass. Now, there's a lot of people that do videos, and they'll go through these vacant buildings and show you the inside. However, that is totally illegal. That is uh, trespassing and uh, uh, breaking and entering. So you get caught doing that, uh, you will face criminal charges. So that's why I'm just staying on the outside of the building and showing you the former Kmart World Headquarters. It'd be easy to sneak in here, but, you know... It, it, there's just nothing really to see. It's just inside. It's going to be mostly vacant, probably with wires and old furniture and crap all in there. 
Usually when these buildings and companies go out of business, they take everything, liquidate it, sell it off. Quite interesting here. This looks like it used to be the employee and visitor parking lot. There's a stairwell that goes up and it's, it's uh, two floors basically, kind of a little bit underground. You could go park your vehicle and, you know, come up as well as just a little bit above ground there. That was the parking structure. I'll move the camera slowly. Right up there, the cement wall, and you can see these steps that come out. So this is where people, a lot of times on the side, they come to park their vehicles to go inside the building. Employees, visitors, contractors, you name it. Just all neglected. I'll take a walk over here. Let me zoom over here real quick. Take a look at this. Uh, let me zoom out just a tad bit. Again, you can see it's just all boarded up. Oh, look at on the window. I'll let me zoom in on the window here. Kmart Associates. All others, please use D door entrance Monday through Friday all day. Yeah. So this was this uh, entrance over here was just for the Kmart employees. Let me. Okay, there we go. Yes, yeah, so this is just was for the uh, Kmart employees. They came in through here, and that was a staff parking lot right across from it. I just showed you. Uh, let me zoom out. Yeah, as you could see, it's just all boarded up. What a shame. Yes, yeah, so this was once. This is the staff parking lot here, as you could see. All deliveries must be made to receiving. No stopping, standing, fire lane deal. So yeah, this. This ramp here was once the uh, employee parking lot. This is where a lot of the employees all came to park. It's two levels. Well, this is nice. Uh, oh, there's one window with a crack in it on the second uh, floor there, but this is all still intact on one side of the building here. They didn't bust, uh, people didn't bust out and vandalize this side of the building here. Here's the lower level of the former employee parking lot. The garage level came out here. Here's the private Kmart, uh, former Kmart World Headquarters, you know, driveway that goes around the building. And they could pull in here and park. And then there's a ramp on the other side to go to the second floor. Uh, almost around the building to the back to the main entrance. Uh, you could see just more of the same busted out windows, plywood, and they paint it black just to blend in there. Uh, you can't see too well with the camera. I can see with my naked eye through this glass because the glass is all tinted. It's all just all vacant inside, empty. You can look in through one window and see out the other on the other side. So, yeah, everything out of here has just been pretty much gutted and taken out. Maybe other than a little bit of broken down furniture and some wires and stuff like that. Now, I find this kind of interesting. You could tell that uh, whoever has this property... It is being maintained by a landscaping crew. You can see the fresh uh, marks in the grass where it's been cut recently. So they are doing that. They're maintaining the grounds of it. Probably because a lot of times whoever owns this property, they'll get fined by the city of Troy if it doesn't get taken care of where the grass is overgrown and the bushes and whatnot. I mean, the building itself is in real, real bad shape from years of just neglect. But uh, they do have whoever it is owning the built the property here is having the grass cut a little bit of the grounds work done and that's about it let me zoom out I'm just walking around the side of the building here almost back to the main entrance here's another like uh, emergency exit door area and they kind of have these brick stairwells throughout the building you know whoever designed and themed this building the grounds are well maintained at least this area over here the glass isn't all vandalized and broken up shame uh, another window that's been busted out vandalized here I'm on another uh, side entrance of the building almost back to the main lobby area where I started I'll take a closer look at here this is grass here so this must have been some you know some lobby entrance X area probably mostly for staff let me let me zoom out they had another one I just showed on the other side of the building uh, this one doesn't have the brick all tore up this is like a different type of brick here I'll take a look inside I mean I'll see if I, we can look inside without going in probably nothing to see there's like two lobby doors 
yeah you can see I don't know this looks like a heater right here that's all kind of tore up and tore out right there yeah that was once a heater pie for that lobby area yeah it's just it's bad disarray years of uh, neglect a side entrance before I get back to the main lobby where I started uh, Lisa glass isn't busted out same deal just you know neglected and in just terrible shape I'll get a closer look here for you guys as you can see this has that same type of brick on one of the other side entrances of the building and it's just you know in really really bad shape just here's the neglect it breaks all flaking and breaking apart here just another side entrance let me I'm sorry let me zoom out here okay you can see here this glass has been busted out it's just plywood and uh, painted black all boarded up another side entrance to the building here all right I'm right back to the main entrance where I started here this is just around the corner I'll zoom in here. This is the drive that goes up to the main entrance where I started the video. And this is going to wrap it up here. Just another emergency exit door. Here's the glass around the former Kmart World Headquarters building. Now, at least this isn't all busted out. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, for watching my videos dropping those likes in the comments and especially a big thank you to all my subscribers I hope you enjoyed this short video the former Kmart World Headquarters building until my next video stay safe and enjoy life